is a WXYZ editorial with Vice President and General Manager Mike Murray. For good reason, a bipartisan effort to reform Michigan's criminal justice system is gaining momentum in Lansing. There are more than 43,000 prisoners behind bars at a cost of $35,000 a year. It's the state's biggest growth industry. Statistics also show that Michigan houses its prisoners longer than the national average. But lawmakers must tackle three big questions. How do you reform the system? Who gets out first? And how do you make public safety priority number one? State Senator John Prose, a Republican from St. Joseph, said it best. It's time for us to take action with smarter justice reforms. Pros is the lead sponsor on a package of 20 bills aimed at reducing repeat offenders and reforming parole guidelines. He recently noted, half of our prison population is made up of parole and probation violators. Many in the system have been locked up for nonviolent offenses. Some of the proposed reforms include modify prison time for parolees who have committed technical violations of probation. Sure and swift courts to deal with parole violators. Allow judges to shorten sentences due to good behavior. Revise requirements for expulsion of students. And house 17 to 22 year olds in the same facility, separated from the older inmates. The Michigan House has already passed a package of reform bills. Now it's time for the Senate. We commend the legislative bipartisan effort in both houses and urge the state lawmakers to send a criminal justice reform package to the governor's desk soon. Smart justice is good justice. I'm Mike Murray. We welcome your response to this editorial.